All right, guys, we're doing the 11th hired request today. And uh, it is a song by Elton John. I love doing Elton John. It's a song called Ticking. And I had not learned this song until uh, I had been hired to do it here. So it's a great song. I'm doing a live version. If you want to look it up on YouTube, it's Elton John Ticking Live in Pontevedra. And here's the beginning of it. Hello, I'm Sean Cheek. Welcome to my Easy Piano Lessons. I always put the free part one on YouTube and the rest of the lessons for this song, as well as thousands and thousands of other uh, lessons are on my website, webpianoteacher.com. Works on all mobile devices, and I have something on there for all uh, skill levels, whatever type of music you're into. I've been doing this for a long time, and I have eight or nine years of uh, lessons that I do continually that I upload to the site. I uh, recommend starting on the basic lessons. If you'll scroll down to the L's on the main library list, there's 50 lessons that will get you started to understand chords and basic rhythms and the way my method works. But anyway, let's start here and do this Elton John song. And <clears throat> ticking, great song. Uh, great live version. I, I love doing the live versions. You get a lot of good stuff that you don't normally get in the studio versions. When you have a great artist, you do, like Elton John, A, C, F, A. I'm going to use one, two, four, five. I know a lot of you like to use those three fingers in there, but that's uh, a bit of a stretch, and it can make your hand kind of tense. Learn to use that fourth finger, and you'll get a lot more flexibility. So we're going to play that first. The left hand's going to kind of be our rhythm section. So we'll start on an F. We are in the key of F. Low F on the pinky, uh, higher F on the thumb. Ba, 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 ba. So here's the rhythm. Ba, 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 ba. Then he goes. So we have this C chord here. Now, even though the left hand stays on an F octave, the right hand's going to go to a C chord. And you get that sound. What you call that, you'll call up. You ever seen where it has a the chord and then it looks like it's written as a fraction. You'll have a C on the top and then an F as the denominator. That means an F pedal. That means you have a pedal F, the bass note or the bass player or the left hand on the piano stays on an F while the right hand changes the chord on top. You get that kind of sound. You can do it with any chord. Okay, so E, G, C, E, and I'm going to use one, two, four, five. Then I'm going to move the inversion down <clears throat> to C, a C chord. C, well, it's still a C chord, right? C, E, G, C, one, two, three, five on that one. If you ever find the four note chord is too tough for you to play, leave out the top note or leave out the bottom one. Leave out the bottom one, uh, and then you still get that melody on top. You know, you lose too much sound. Okay, and that's a way that you can still play it uh, if your skills aren't quite up there <clears throat> yet. And the last chord will just be the C E G. And I'll just use uh, let's see. I'm already playing C E G C, so I'll just keep my one, two, three, and then hit that. Alright, so I'll play hands together, then the left hand thumb, and then right, right, and then one more left hand thumb. Then I'm gonna go B flat C D F. B flat C D F with one, two, three, five. Now whenever your thumb is on a black key, you want to scoot up in between the keys a little bit. A lot of you beginners don't want to put your fingers between the keys like that, but you need to learn to do that when your thumb is on a black key. Then I'll come up to do D F B flat D with one, two, four, five. Then back down to B flat D F B flat with one, two, three, five. So it goes boom, boom, boom. Alright? When you have to hop around on the chords, don't hold the chord too long. Get off of it and go to the next one. The pedal can hold it for you. And I'm going to play that B flat again. And then left hand goes low F, high F, high F again. So that box is again really slow. One more time. Which is B 
flat D F, I'll use two three five four two four five. You know, whatever you want to use. But I'll I'll slide into the A C F, da -da, and then A C F again. Left hand's on an F. All right, so we have uh, from the beginning. Elton plays it a lot faster than that, but learn it slowly and correctly with a you know steady tempo, and then the tempo can begin to speed up as you really get better at it. Okay? Hope you guys enjoyed that free part one. Check out my website, webpianoteacher.com, and um, you know, look me up on Facebook, just do a Facebook search for webpianoteacher.com, see what I'm up to, what's coming up next on the list, and all that good stuff. Talk to you guys later.